Hello and welcome to another episode of Video Marketing Success. I'm your host Simon Spikerman and today we're answering the question, what platform should I use to host my videos? What platform should you use to host your video? Should you use YouTube for all your videos? Should you use another hosting platform like Brightcove, Wistia or Vidyard? Or should you try using your own website hosting company? The answer to that question depends on the kind of video you're making and what your goals are. Generally speaking, when you're creating sales videos, you want to use a professional hosting platform. When you're creating educational or entertaining videos, then you should consider YouTube, unless your goal is also to drive traffic directly to your website. YouTube is huge. You know this. It's the second largest search engine after Google. There are over 4 billion videos watched on YouTube every single day. So if you're creating a how-to series or a thought leadership series for your industry, then YouTube might be a great choice. People can find the videos directly on YouTube, they might find them through social media, or they might find them directly in search results. In fact, a well-optimized video can show up in search results for a particular keyword as a thumbnail. And people are 41% more likely to click on a thumbnail image than they are a direct link. Of course, when they do click on that thumbnail, they will go to YouTube and not your website. The best approach for a YouTube channel is to create regular ongoing content and build subscribers. You're going to then create awareness for your company and at some point people are going to want to find out a bit more about you and who you are. And that is where your sales videos come in. If so many people are on YouTube, why shouldn't I use YouTube for my sales videos? The answer to that is YouTube is a social network and selling is not social. YouTube might be supported by ads but the audience does not come there to watch those ads. They come to be entertained and educated. The other issue is the chances are your sales videos are going to live on your website and if you use YouTube to embed those videos on your website, YouTube videos tend to be clickable. Now there are ways to skin those videos, the players that is, but usually the logo or the title or somewhere on that player is clickable and people will click on that, leave your website and go to YouTube and therefore you've lost your conversion opportunity. You got them on your website, you really want to keep them there. So what should you do with your sales videos? How should you host them? Well there are several choices. You can use your own website hosting company and a third party player like the JS player. You can use Amazon hosting and a third party player or you can use a professional video hosting company like Wistia, Brightcove or Vidyard. The problem with Amazon is it's complicated to set up so you'll probably need a website developer to help you. Your website hosting company may have a solution but the biggest problem with both Amazon and your hosting company is the chances are they're going to let you upload one file of your video and that is the file that will play back when people try to watch it. The problem is that there are so many different devices out there and different connection speeds that a lot of people are not going to be able to watch that video. A professional hosting platform like Brightcove, Wistia or Vidyard will let you upload that file and behind the scenes they're going to encode multiple versions of that video and then use smart technology to figure out what device you're watching the video on and deliver the version that will work best for that device. Not only that, but these platforms have players that can be customized with colors to match your website. They also do not click away so you don't leave the website to go to these companies, but stay on your site for the conversion experience. Some of these players also have the ability to capture leads or email addresses within the players. Now, if your goal is to drive traffic to your website from your sales videos or your entertaining and educational videos, then you probably don't want to use YouTube. You want to use one of these hosting platforms as well, but you want to optimize those videos for search and use a process which includes submitting a video sitemap. An XML video sitemap submitted to Google will increase the chances that that video thumbnail will show up in search results because you'll be telling Google exactly where all your videos live on your website. And those thumbnails, when clicked on, will lead directly back to your website and that will bring people into the sales funnel where it's the context of your site and they can learn more about you and you can lead them further down the sales process. At this point I hear some of you asking what about Vimeo? Vimeo is a great platform, high quality video encoding, great analytics and it's free, right? 
Actually, if you're selling, Vimeo is not free. Businesses are supposed to upgrade to the paid platform. And while it might be cheaper than some of the other ones that I've mentioned, it doesn't have all the same bells and whistles that they do. Ultimately though, it's gonna come down to a choice. You want to compare some of these other video hosting platforms, features and benefits to Vimeo to decide which platform that you want to use. What you need to remember if you do use Vimeo is that it is a social network and therefore your sales videos should be hidden from the Vimeo audience. And also you should remember that those thumbnails are gonna be taking people to Vimeo and not to your website. Which is why maybe you wanna consider one of the other paid platforms. Whichever platform you choose, you should measure everything continuously to improve your process and results. And then you'll have a video marketing system that can grow and succeed with you.